So this is my original uh, Lockheed caliber, okay? And basically what I did is I sent it out to be rebuilt. So they've sandblasted it, cleaned it, rebuilt it, put all new seals in. So she's kind of like a new caliper. It cost me uh, 267 Canadian dollars. That's about, I don't know, 180 bucks US. So today what we're going to do is we're going to paint these. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, because when they came to me, rebuilt they have a coating of oil on them to keep them from rusting and you can see they're pretty clean there's a few areas where I'm going to sand a bit um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brake cleaner okay and I will rub down both of my calipers inside and out the next thing I will do is I will use a uh, duplicolor preparation so this will prepare it for painting. But before I do this, I am going to take a pro uh, compass here. And I'm going to cut a round circle and then make a template for tape so that I can cover the round piston and the, uh, the rubber seals so that I don't paint this area here. And I also don't think I want to paint the bottom where the pads are touching because I, I think the vibration is just going to go through the paint anyways. So I'm not going to paint that. So I'm going to mask this area here and we'll see it later. Mask the top and the round piston and of course my bleeder. And then this is covered with a little plastic thing, which is the brake hose inlet. So once I've done that masking, I'm going to clean it with this. And then I'm going to give it two light coats of primer. Um, we'll see this in action. And then finally, two coats of VHT caliper. So this primer is a high heat engine primer, good to 900 degrees. And this is a caliper good to 500 degrees. So this, they're both got ceramic in them. And this is a high gloss black, so it should last quite nicely. And that's in preparation for replacing the calipers with the EDC uh, rotors and the green stuff EDC pads. So if you come over here, you'll have a look at how I've set things up to paint it um, efficiently, quickly, and get the job done nicely. So let's have a look over here. Okay, so over here what I've done is I've actually stolen a Lazy Susan <laughs> from the kitchen. Shh, don't tell my wife. I've covered it up with tin foil so no paint gets on it. And then I put a little wooden piece here and I've also got a plastic um, piece here to put the painted parts on. So what my plan is, is to do one at a time, spray it turn it as I spray and then after I think it's 10 minutes I can flip it over and then do the other side okay so the first thing you want to have is a uh, clean workspace this is not dirt it's a uh, black paint from a previous job so we're going to clean it with brake cleaner and remove all this uh, oil that was there before. So I'm going to shake this up.
Now we'll clean up some of the rust. And then the final step is we'll do a final coat of this prep and then we'll do some masking. Okay, so we'll take this one here where we saw some rust here and we'll start to rub it off. And you can see it coming off as a powder. So we're gonna rub everything. Okay, so we'll get rid of this and we'll come back to masking and doing the final coat. So now I'm just going to draw a little circle the way I want to cut it. Okay, I want to make sure that this size fits the way I want, so I'm just going to... sure it covers it all and it does so we got a nice round piece here that should work so what I have is some black paper so I can put down some layers of this and then cut it so this should be just loosely here like that, whoops, I'll just put it like that, one more, and one more, and I guess we could draw the bottom here, I guess. There we go, got four. And they're not perfect, but they'll work. So I'll just check it one more time. Yeah, that should cover it. Okay, so now um, we have a clean workbench. And what we're gonna do is clean it with our Duplicolor surface prep. I think it's a good idea to start using gloves so I don't get finger oil all over the parts. Here I just took a little knife to get it started and I peeled it back and I'm covering complete, making sure that everything's covered 
And you can see that everything is covered there. So the plan is very simple here. We have gray primer, duplicate color, high heat, and we have caliper paint. Each of these have to be applied within 10 minutes, maximum one hour. So what that means is, is we have to have a timer, which I have right here on my phone set up for 10 minutes. So we're going to apply a light coat of primer, 10 minutes, we'll flip it, apply another light coat, 10 minutes, flip it again, one more light coat of primer. So we got 10, 20, 30. And then we're going to do the same with the paint. So this needs to be shaken really well. Um, you don't want, and it needs to be shaken every, every minute of use, you need to shake it again. Now some people put it in warm water before they use it, I'm not. And here we go. So, light coats, remember light coats. Make sure it works. And here we go. Okay, so now I'm going on to my second coat. So again, so you see I'm kind of getting the sides of second coat already. And the thing with this is it has to be done in one hour, everything. Otherwise, you got to wait seven days to give it another coat because it needs to dry completely and it starts drying to touch within an hour. So everything has to be done within an hour. So this kind of dries to the touch within a few minutes. So I can literally flip it over and maybe not wait the 10 minutes and give it one last, another coat of primer and flip it one more time if we want to give two coats. Okay, last coat of primer. Okay, I'm skipping ahead here. I forgot to turn the camera on, but this is, I've done one coat of black on one side. Now I'm just doing the other coat, the other side. It's the corners of the black you gotta be careful of. Okay, set the timer. Okay, so the timer is about to go off. Let's take the pan again. And we're going to flip it over one more time. So we're going to flip it very gently onto one. And I'm going to put it on a nice clean piece like that. Okay. 
way is good still. Perfect. So now we just go around. So I'm going to bring this whole thing and let this dry away from over here. And then I'll start the second one on the primer. And we'll start on the primer. So this goes away. And we'll start all over again. And I'll skip this part and I'll meet you at the end and we'll have a look at both of them sitting on the bench. So we're back and uh, we're done. So have a look. Um, this is how it'll look on the outside. And uh, you can see that inside here where the pads sit and vibrate or move back slide, this has no paint and also inside the area as well as the clean uh, grease um, nipple here. Sorry, the words out of my mind. So it looks like it should be very nice. So now you just sit here and cure. I'd put it in the oven but they say 200 degrees for an hour but I'm afraid the smell may have an effect on my dog so they also say that it'll cure by heating up on the car so I don't expect my brake caliper uh, my brake uh, rotors and my brake pads to come in until another three to four days so this will just sit here and cure for four or five days and uh, maybe in a week I'll uh, redo my brakes and uh, we'll see, see what happens with the EDC performance green pads and original calipers. So now this shouldn't rust anymore and everything is right on them. So that's it. One last look. Here they are. And you can see inside and it's perfect. Nothing blocking the pistons or the two slide areas where the pads fit right here and go in so thank you for watching and I hope this helps you paint your calipers I know you can do it on the car but I think this is a better way